Hello guys, uh, thank you for being here with me. Uh, I owe you guys a video of my uh, Suburban from uh, like a complete video. Last time I did a little preview of how it looked with the wheels, with the Detroit steel wheels. I have some 20 inch. And uh, now I'm, I, we just cleaned it. Uh, actually we just cleaned it because uh, my brother right here, he's uh, holding the camera. And we were talking about it and I decided to to sell him my suburban um, I kind of don't want to finish it up because I got more projects that I got to take care of and then uh, and this suburban still needs some uh, some uh, upgrades uh, to, to be uh, road worthy or at least to go on the freeway so uh, I gotta I gotta say bye to her but uh, at least she will be in the family um, so we cleaned her a little bit and I'm gonna show you guys how she looks from the inside. She's very clean. Alright. If you come over here, let's start with the doors. So the doors, um, I mean if you have a C10 square body, uh, you know how they look like. I mean it has a little holder, a pocket right here, um, automatic uh, windows and uh, locks too. All right. Um, if you if you see right here, we have a stereo down here, which they had it in the same spot for since '73, as far as I know. I mean, I haven't seen the late, the uh, more older models. So, anyways, uh, right here we got the, the buttons for the uh, air conditioner and for the heater. Uh, something they uh, couldn't. Um, something that they had to they had to have in the cars it was ashtrays. This is an ashtray, and this uh, for the cigarette lighter. All right, we got the glove compartment over here. Um, really nice headboard, Suburban SLE. It's a 1990. Let's go to the back. Stay right there and let me show you. Let me go around the back and show you how to hold this thing. So we have uh, we have uh, three rows in this suburban, and then uh, I'm gonna show you how to fold this one, and then we'll go on to to the third one because I know there are suburbans that only had uh, two rows, and this one has three. So, by the way, this is Dahlia. Dahlia, say hi. Hi. Lily, say hi. This is Lily. Hi. And this is Oso. Oso? Hi. Okay, he's not much of a talker. He's pretty camera shy. He's working on that. Don't worry. And so this is how you fold it. All right. Uh, let me sh let me uh, get this this bench. So also didn't want to get off and right here we got the other little hook and if you, if you come in here uh, I'll show you how uh, how it is when you sit on this one it has a little bit of leg room because the floor is raised on the on the back uh, all of them had the raised floor but uh, only some of them had three rows we got uh, the speakers right here. Uh, the headboard, Hello. it <laughs> fell once and I went to this guy that did upholstery and uh, and he put it, uh, he put it like new. So it looks, it looks nice. That's the only thing I've changed on it other than some engine parts. But uh, the inside, it was way cleaner when I got it. But uh, we put it to work and it got dirty. We do roofing and I mean, roofing is a dirty job. We got the ashtrays, like I told you, right here, and uh, right here we got the AC and the heater system. So, not the system, but the vents. This is where they can come out. And and uh, yeah. let's go to the back and show you guys the room in the back. Alright guys, so let me show you something very important. You see this right here? 
if you go to custom cars or actually you're looking at it on custom cars give it a like give it a subscribe and uh, hit on that bell button for when I upload more videos um, let's see the back I mean everything is original it's amazing truck I really love it um, we have a spare the spare tire right here with the this pretty cover the only thing about this suburban is that it's too much brown I mean it's like everything is just one color uh, that's why she looks weird but there's a lot of space for when we go on vacation we went from Arkansas to California we live in Arkansas we went to California and uh, it was in the summer uh, I had around 185,000 miles and uh, they hit in uh, Arizona New Mexico it was like nothing like like she didn't feel tired at all so close it. and uh, right here if you see we got some uh, little some scratches so what I'm doing is making a patina uh, I, I like patina but uh, I don't want something exaggerated I just want something that looks unique so I'm making a patina around the side just whenever I had uh, like 10 minutes per time I will go with the uh, with the sand, uh, sandpaper and do it right here and uh, if you can see right here we're doing different things right here we we already have some uh, uh, what's it called uh, rust. some rust sorry so right here we got another one and uh, uh, it's just uh it's just nice, uh, we dropped it, um, we dropped it 7 inches in the back, 5 inches in the front, in the front with did spindles, uh, spindles, what are they called, uh, coils, spindles and drop coils, 3 drop spindles, 3 inch drop, drop spindles and 2 inch drop coils, in the back we did the flip kit, and then uh, we did a C notch. We had to do a C notch because it was in a hit. And uh, we got a 20 inch in the in the front from Detroit Steel Wheels. Um, they're heavy wheels. Uh, one of the things that uh, I didn't uh, expect when I bought them is that uh, they're heavy. So these older trucks, they came with really light uh, wheels. And I mean, it's, it's not, it needs better brakes so it's gonna need a new brake system and I have no idea how much it is so I'm gonna go online and check it out and um, in the back we got a 20 20 by 14 uh, the race that's the style it's like the original ones but in big version I got the biggest uh, size that they had the uh, 20 by 14 with uh, 3.25 backspace the back space is the space between uh, your lug nuts, no, your lug nuts, your, um, what are they called? Uh, yes, where the lug nuts go um, to the back of the uh, of the wheel. So that's, that's your back space. Um, and uh, we had to cut it in order to fit the wheel in here. Uh, when I got these wheels, I just wanted to see them on and we just cut it like that, like just any type of cut because uh, if you guys uh, seen my other videos before, uh, this is going to have uh, uh, dually fenders and uh, I mean it, it won't matter because they're going to come up here and uh, we just uh, need some money to finish it, to put them on and uh, it's, been, it's been great, you can see it right here, I got this pretty nice sticker this De Detroit steel wheel check them out they got really really nice uh, really nice wheels and uh, I guess uh, I guess this is everything this is uh, a good buy for me um, from me to her but not from uh, not from uh, the videos because we will continue making videos and taking this truck wherever uh, she's going and she's hey. gonna look beautiful once it's finished Thank you guys, uh, leave me your comments, uh, good or bad comments, I take them all, I don't care if you have something bad to say, uh, I'll hear
care it. If I care, I don't know. But uh, just <laughs> just leave it good or bad. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Uh, and uh, just enjoy. We'll see you in the next video.